Hey internet, um, my name's Chelsea if you didn't already know that. I have been asked a couple times about the sort of mediums I use, so I thought it's probably about time I faced you, told you stuff, and <laughs> tried to be as unawkward as possible, is that a word? Is now. So I guess I'm just going to start off by talking about the first thing I invested in when I started getting kind of serious about doodling. And that was my wrap pencil case. I keep all this stuff that I use, a lot of fine liners and a lot of pencils, in my wrap pencil case just because they're all there on the go. And I'm very, very fond of a few specific markers. I've always had a massive soft spot for Copic markers. I particularly love this Copic multiliner because you can replace the ink. They're very reliable and they're waterproof, so I adore them. I'm also incredibly fond of Micron fine liners, if that's or Micron, better yet, Micron fine liners. I use 0.1 to 0.5 usually. I'm very much fond of a 0.2 or a 0.3 with these ones, just because the detail in them is incredible. I'm also incredibly fond of using lightweight pencils. The heaviest density that I have is a HB, but I generally gravitate more towards a 4H and a 2H. And I've recently just fallen in love with using these Staedtler Tech pencils because you can change the lead in them. I also keep in here my very trusty Stanley knife. It's a very little one. I think my dad bought it for me from Bunnings or something when I started studying at university, but I love it. It's just really, really easy to use and really um, lightweight. These are probably my favourite thing in the whole wrap. Um, I use a lot of Posca paint pens, especially when I do out of space drawings and stuff. I just love the quality of the paint in them. They're very very vibrant and they're just really satisfying because you can shake them and they make weird noises and I don't know, it doesn't take much to please me. The next thing is probably my toolkit. So I recently invested in this horrendous looking box. Because I have to commute to the city four days a week and spend a lot of time in my Melbourne studio, this is a really good way just to shove everything in and take it with me. I have a lot of masking tape because I tend to mask the edges of pages that I draw on so that they either have a really crisp edge or just so I don't move the page around too much. I also have a lot of sewing pins because, as I said, I'm moving into the Melbourne studio and I have to have a lot of stuff on my walls. So. I recently found a bunch of connector textures that I forgot that I had. And I've been using them mostly for colouring in books that people have given me over the years, but I also found that they're really good for just really vibrant details in drawings. When I finished high school, I decided that instead of using watercolour pencils and inktense pencils like I had been for the past couple of years, that I would invest in a watercolour kit. And one day when I was at university, I realised that I forgot to bring my watercolour kit, so I went into Melbourne Artist Supplies and bought a Winsor Newton one as well. So now I have two watercolour kits, and I love them both equally. I think in terms of personal preference, I kind of prefer the Winsor Newton just because the refills are so much easier to find. This one, it's a My Miri, and Melbourne Artist Supply generally supply Winsor Newton. So I have in the past stuck a couple of Winsor Newton colours in there if I get really desperate to refill them. But for the most part, I like the Winsor Newton ones because they come in the little pods and you can just slip them in and it's just, it's just nice. I don't know. I like them. So there's those. My watercolour kits are probably the thing that I use the most, even when I'm not trying to be artistic and I'm just mucking around, I always fall into watercolour. I have a lot of gouache. I got this from studying last year in my diploma. We had to buy art kits and it came with gouache. I was pleasantly surprised when I got using these and realised they were water based and you can thin them out but they can also be quite dense and opaque and they're just really vibrant and I just really really like them. So for a lot of outer space themed drawings and stuff I've started using these a lot more and I just love them. They're just like good. I also recently found an old wallet that I really really loved but I always struggled to find it in the bottom of my bag because it's quite dark. So I've recently decided to put all my brushes in it so that way I can find them. I'll always end up 
digging like a mad woman just trying to find the really fine headed brushes so found that really really comforting to have last of all is just my colored pencils I think I bought these at a local art supply store just because I wanted something to give my drawings a bit more texture so another thing I'm very fond of using is this palette that I got for Christmas so the lid I use for watercolors in case I decide to mix colors the base though is all gouache so I really like how messy this is because I can just come back to it when it's dried add a bit of water and reuse the colors and it's just really useful and it doesn't feel like I'm wasting a lot of medium then as well I've recently become quite obsessed with mixed media um, diaries like this one I bought in August because I've actually used it so much that it's coming out of the bind but I really like this because it means I can just experiment in terms of larger scale visual diaries I love these thicker ones I can't for the life of me remember the brand and I can't for the life of me remember the paper type but I really love these this is my university one and the pages are quite thick it's one of those ones that doesn't buckle to water-based mediums I found in the past a lot of these visual diaries although the pages are quite dense they buckle so I really love these because thick and they're also just really well made so it's, it's really comforting to have a sturdy visual diary that will last you the year. In terms of one-off drawings I generally prefer to use Como paper. I particularly like this because it is very cheap in comparison to watercolor paper and mixed media paper and I tend to work quite small so it means I can cut down the paper to the size that I like to use and when I do cut down Como paper I tend to stick it on this filthy cutting board because I can mask it down and just work my way through the drawing. I love it. <laughs> so the last few things that I have to show you are not essential, um, it's just personal preference. I've recently I suppose become more accustomed to mixing and washing my brushes in jars rather than paper and plastic cups just because I don't like to be wasteful but also because I like to separate the gouache water from the watercolor water which sounds really pedantic when I say it out loud but I just find that gouache is a lot more dense and the water gets filthier quicker final thing that I want to show is just a little bit of a novelty thing um, it's just a Carl CH 208 sharpener and I really love it I've had it for years it used to be my parents and then I kind of stole it I think my mom knows I have it hopefully sorry mom your pencils just look like brand new when you pull them out of this thing and it's probably like older than I am but I absolutely adore it it's like my favorite novelty thing that I have so yeah I hope that clarified anything if you were curious about what I do or how I make stuff or what I use better yet I don't think vlogging is really my thing but hey I might come back we'll see um thank you for watching bye